What's up guys, welcome back to another video here on the channel. So, as you guys can see, this is another Advent Squad video. This is our first venture into Africa. So we are going to do one or two African countries. We're going to try and hit every continent um, on our trip around around the world on this advent calendar adventure so this is our first foray into africa obviously um ivory coast legend didier drogba would be a consideration for the squad he should be the first name in this squad unfortunately he's also like 800 thousand plus coins and i'm just not going to spend that on him right now so he unfortunately will not make the squad although he definitely belongs in it However, this is going to be the squad. Now, there are only two goalkeepers in the whole game from the Ivory Coast. Um, this guy, and then there's a bronze, so we're just going to use this guy. That's obviously going to be a bit of a weak spot. But Bailly and this guy, Delhi should be able to protect him quite nicely. Um, both of them with 76 pace, decent defending stats. Um, neither of them are great on the ball, but should be able to get the job done. Serge Aurier over here at right back. And his partner at fullback, Conan, should be able to get the job done defensively as well. They're protected by this guy, Dumbia, who uh, has 86 physical, which is pretty good. Also decent dribbling, otherwise not great. But Kabamin will contribute defensively and offensively is the hope. Um, he does have 80 pace to track up and down, and then 83 physical. Stamina is really high at 83 as well. He's also decent on the ball. Kessier is another box-to-box -box guy who will be coming up and back. And then this attack is really going to have to uh, carry the brunt of the goal scoring here. These three guys, Gervinho, uh, Zaha, and Pepe, all three over 90 pace, which is pretty cool. Gervinho is obviously all pace. Um, Zaha, this card is awesome. I've played 73 games with him, 49 goals, 43 assists. Three-star weak foot, but does have the five-star skills, which is quite nice. And then Pepe, who has four-star skills, three-star weak foot. He is left-footed, but another high-low work rate player. Um, very good dribbling, very good pace with some decent shooting as well. So that is going to be the squad. Um, we've got these guys on the bench, just whoever I had in the club. We do have some serious pace off the bench if we need it. Um, but we are going to jump into a game. Um, just a little bit of a joke here. A lot of people think the Ivory Coast flag, or get the Ivory Coast flag and the Ireland flag mixed up, so we just have an Irish manager there. I didn't have an Ivory Coast one, so just thought it was a little funny. Um, but anyway, we are going to jump into a game here, and um, then I'll be back with any, or well, I'll be back with uh, the team we're coming up against. All right, guys, so here we are jumping into a game. We will play in the orange, and we'll let our opponents play in the white again. Credit to me, I did remember the uniforms, almost forgot, just had to go do them. <laughs> oh my goodness, we are coming up against quite a team. Um, Luis Figo and Pirlo uh, and Keane making up the central midfield area. Um, also has Lartor Martinez, which featured on an episode on my channel yesterday of Versus. Um, Dembele, who's one of the best players in the game in my opinion, over there. Uh, this will be an interesting game, but hopefully um, the Ivory Coast pace up top and pace well pace all over the field really um is able to keep up with this team here we're gonna try and send Gervinho in here looks like we're gonna be able to i see pepe wide open on the far post but we can't get it to him unfortunately um Gervinho's cross not strong enough to reach that far uh, far post area there um this guy uh has a stacked team and um looks to be cutting through a defense as we speak by can't Ooh, get to that ball, but Figo does put it just wide, thank you. All right, we're sending Pepe in on the other side this time. Cuts past his defender in Roussillon. Uh, he does have some pace, though. We're going to try and get inside. We do. Kessier on the ball, stumbles, um, and unfortunately no foul called because he didn't go down in the box. But uh, our opponent's on the attack here. <clears throat> Can't quite take it with our central defender there. All right, we're on the attack yet again. Kessier bring the ball forward, looking to find a teammate. Can't see anybody yet, so he'll just take him to the box himself. Marquinhos defends well, though, unfortunately. Let's see if we can win the ball back in a dangerous area. We cannot. He's gotten Dembele up top with the ball now. Lartaro Martinez finds Dembele again, but we do win it back. Gervinho looking to make his way down his left-hand side. Beating all of these defenders. Hopefully, Gervinho does not have four-star skills. I kind of forgot about that, but he finds a teammate in the middle of the field who passes not to where I was looking to get the ball to. Uh, and unfortunately, the chance is gone for now. Osman Dembele finds himself free through the uh, uh, defense there and chips it home. Um, 
that was tough. <laughs> Not a lot else to say about that. Kind of felt like my defender should have picked the ball up, but it just slotted through to Dembele, and he does manage to chip it over our goalkeeper um, and into the net. So we are down one nothing uh, midway through this first half here. On the attack again, Kessier moving forward, finding Zaha this time. Zaha, his first extended period on the ball, does manage to get past Pirlo. Can he beat anyone else now? Keane is a... Keane is tough to get past. I play with him in my own team, and he cleans up a lot there at the back, so he's going to be a challenge. Pepe looks like he's in there. Zaha does find him. Oh, he's offside. I thought maybe we snuck it in, unfortunately, but... We're getting those runs in behind. We're just not quite timing them right. Uh, either too, uh, slightly too early or slightly too late. We will uh, eventually get the timing right on one and hopefully we'll be able to make it count. Um, although Zaha wins it back now or collects a loose ball. Unfortunately, is not able to hold on to it as Nesta tackles it away. What a goal from Luis Figo there. Uh, just turned through my defender, which is a little frustrating, and then uh, pops it into the, uh, into the corner there. This Ivory Coast team is just plain old not good enough to compete with, with people like Figo and Pirlo and Keane and Nesta. Um, <clears throat> we'll do our best in the second half, but um, that that goalkeeper just can't stop shots like that. It's just never going to happen. So, well, again, we'll do our best, but uh, but no promises here. That's the end of the first half. Uh, second half, we'll come back and, uh, and see if we can get anything done against this team. We find Jorvino on the left-hand side here. <clears throat> Looking like maybe we can do something. We put, try and push the ball across, but it goes straight into Ederson's arms. I didn't use the correct ball there. But Pepe does win it back. Finds Kessier, who finds Pepe back, who smashes it near post. Uh, unfortunately, Ederson makes the save. Two good chances there. Hopefully, we can get something done on this one. We'll rainbow flick into Politano, and he does uh, catch it there. Aurier winning it back this time. Finding Gervinho. Gervinho... Making his man miss. Jovino! Nothing doing. Zaha this time. Drags back. Can't keep the ball, unfortunately. I uh, thought we could have won that one as well, but we didn't. And now Lartaro Martinez is on the break. Can we stay in front of Dembele? We do, but then Dembele wins it back, unfortunately. Oh, he tries to do Elastico to the keeper, but it doesn't quite work. Now we're going back the other way with Aurier here. Finding Kessier, who sees Pepe wide open. Kessie can't find him, but Aurier does. So Aurier finds Pepe. Berba spins inside. Finds Kessie. Finds Gabamin, who hits it into the keeper. Gabamin and Zaha linking up. Zaha with the scoop turn. Tries to turn inside. Isn't, unfortunately, quite able to do it, but does keep the ball. Finds Aurier on the outside. We're going to work down the wing, try to get a cross in with Aurier, see if we can make anything happen. That is a good cross. Finds a bit of no man's land space there, but Ederson is able to get a hand to it, and now he looks to be breaking with Figo, and then down the left-hand side with Rosellon. Founds Mart uh, Lautaro Martinez in the middle. He's messing around with Figo. Figo finds Politano pushed away across into the middle of the field to find Dembele. Unfortunately, we just are not able to get a touch of the ball right now. Um, Figo looks to just be playing around the top of the box, who finds Lautaro Martinez. Again, we just can't touch the ball. This is a little bit frustrating with Politano here. I forgot, I'm not supposed to use that word. Try, try not to. Um, he is just passing around everyone. His qu The quality of his players is just too high for me um, and my team. Gabamin does eventually uh, win the ball back and try to pass out of the back here. We do find Jervinho. Jervinho is on a little bit of a run here. We'll pull it back. Quadrado uh, doesn't defend him quite the way he should. Uh, we found Gabamin for a minute, but then we did end up losing the ball as he breaks through. Looks like this is going to be another goal from Dembele. He found a hole in the defense. Oh, keeper! Nice save, Mande. Figo's broken through. He has a man at the far post. If he's smart, I'll pass it to him. Or he'll find Lautaro Martinez behind him and, uh, and tack on a third goal. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to be getting anything from this game. Um, that doesn't mean we're going to give up on it. Pepe, moving down the right-hand side, um, looked like he could have been fouled, but eventually the ball goes out of bounds for the opposition throw. We do win it back, though. Kessier beats his man. Finds a man in the middle and Dumbia. Dumbia can't shoot at all and puts it right into the uh, hands of the keeper. We do win a quarter. Aurier is going to throw one in. Unfortunately, not much we can do with it. Deli finds Gervinho, who tries a finesse. Oh! Just over the bar. Not a bad hit from the man. 
Dembele through again. Our defenders just really can't keep up with him. Although Bailly does tackle it into the uh, waiting arms of the keeper. We're going to try up the left-hand side again here. Looks like gervinho has got some space in behind Quadrado. Looks like we are going to get a, a chance here. Can we reach Pepe this time? We do. Unfortunately, he's not alone as I would have liked him to be. But Kessier picks it up and finds the back of the net on a nice cross uh, body shot. Um, Kessier does bring us back to a respectable level in this match. Uh, nice shot from him. We're on the attack again, I say, as we lose the ball, unfortunately. Um, I accidentally double-tapped the pass button, and that put it into the air, and then, therefore, um, added more error to the shot. Um, we're on the defensive now. Figo eventually finds his way through to Politano, and Politano very easily... Uh, scores a goal, making it 4-1. So I started commenting commentating my attack and end up commentating one of his goals. A little bit disappointing. We'll probably just stick with it till the end of the game at this point. There's only another minute or two. Um, Roussillon getting a um, yellow card there. We're going to try and defend this with a, or hit this with a defender. Deli was going to put one in. Hopefully somebody can connect this with their heads. Aha does! Nothing doing, unfortunately. He's just going to hold the ball because he really likes winning. As long as he can, now he'll toss it out. Fortunately, that will mean we don't get another opportunity. And that is going to be it with the Ivory Coast squad. So our first venture into Africa is not as successful as I would have liked it to have been. We did manage to get sneak one goal. Um, and this attack did have chances, but unfortunately our defense was just getting torn apart from players like Dembele and... And whatever, and, and a lot of our attacks were just getting broken up by Roy Keane and, and the other icons in his team. So uh, the stats don't say we played a four to one game. Uh, they do say that our opponent should have won. Um, but uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like, um, subscribe if you are not already, and uh, and thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Thanks.